On the back of your tray dryer is a port. There's a similar port on the back of the freeze dryer. When connected with the cable provided, the tray dryer can control the freeze dryer's vacuum startup during automatic mode operation. Three temperature ports, which connect to three probes, allow constant sample monitoring. Before running in automatic mode, it's best to perform a trial run in manual mode in order to determine a appropriate set point. Turn the refrigeration on in manual mode. In manual mode, you will manually set temperatures for pre-freezing, primary drying, and secondary drying. Press the display button until the manual indicator is lit. Use the up and down arrow keys to set the appropriate shelf temperature. Hit the enter button within 10 seconds to store set points. Hit run stop to start the process. After pre-freezing, allow the collector coils to reach at least minus 40. Press the vacuum button to start primary drying. When primary drying is complete, increase shelf temperature for secondary drying. Once the parameters are determined in manual mode, the stoppering tray dryer can be programmed for automatic mode. To program automatic mode, follow these steps. Turn the base unit refrigeration on using the refrigeration button in manual mode. Make sure the vacuum LCD light is off. The stoppering tray dryer has five user set programs, each with five segments. The first segment is always pre-freeze. Use the display button to move to auto mode. To toggle between the settings, use the enter key. To change a parameter, use the up and down arrow keys. The display that is blinking will be the active parameter. Press enter to save the settings. The display shows the following parameters. P represents the program number. There are five segments. The first segment is always pre-freeze. Ramp is the rate of cooling or heating on the shelves. Hold is the temperature that the shelves will stay at during a run. Time is the length of time for the selected segment. After entering a value, press the enter button. After 10 seconds, if the enter button is not pressed, it will revert to previous settings. Now we will program a sample lyophilization process. When we turn the power on, the LCD displays program number one. Press enter to display segment one parameters. Press enter again to advance the cursor to ramp. Using the arrow keys, select 0.5 degrees centigrade per minute. Press enter to advance to hold and select minus 40 degrees centigrade. Press enter to advance to time and select three hours. Press enter again. We've now programmed segment one. For the next segment, select two. For ramp, select 1.5 degrees centigrade per minute as the shelf temperature increase. For hold, select minus 20 degrees centigrade. And for time, select 10 hours. Select segment three. Enter and select 1.5 degrees centigrade per minute for ramp, plus 5 degrees centigrade for hold, and 8 hours for time. This completes segment 3. Bring up segments 4 and 5 and enter 0 hours for time. In manual mode on the base unit, allow the collector coils to reach at least minus 40 degrees C. 
press mode on the stoppering tray dryer to select auto and run stop to start the program. Now lyophilization begins. 